I saw the mantra on your website is rise to your purpose because life is way too short to live without purpose. So as you know, a big piece of what we do at FRC is helping people identify their massively transformative purpose. So I was hoping maybe you would share your massively transformative purpose with us uh, and, and tell, tell us a little bit about how that plays a role in your work. Yes, well, Miles Monroe, great preacher, uh, he's passed now, but he, he had a statement that said, he, he made the statement saying, the greatest tragedy of life is not death, but rather it's a life without a purpose. Mm -hmm. And even at 10 years old, I felt emptiness because I felt like there was something I needed to be doing to make life better for people. When you don't have purpose, you wander around trying to find something that's meaningful, something to attach to that's meaningful so that you can feel like you, you're alive or you, you're here for a reason. Regaining mastery over life um, really requires that we go to our, what some people call the highest emotion, but I'm gonna say the most sacred value. Because I think that when we start talking about selfless love, because that's what we're, I'm talking about, really using love to help guide us to solve these problems, is more than an uh, emotion. Love is an emotion like romantic love or lust or long-term love, which Helen Fisher calls attachment. Um, it's more than that. It's a sacred value. It's a value in our heart that we love people, that we love each other because we realize, I realize that I am one with everything. I'm mm -hmm. one with the bugs. I'm one with the evil man down the street. I'm one with the good man on the other end of the street. I'm everybody and everything. So I need to, I have to bring myself up to a level to be able to love everybody in every situation that I'm in. I don't weep when I go through hard trials. I just understand that they're part of me, the journey for me to get where I need to go. So I'm not afraid to be face to face with uh, some type of confrontation. Well, a lot of people don't want confrontation. I have no problem with it because I realize I have somewhere to be. I have an appointment and I got to get there. And that appointment is to help people remember how to use the power of love to solve all kinds of persistent problems.